Hey, I just want to show you something quickly here about working with the stroke of polygons that will probably help you out when you are creating these kinds of political boundaries that I was showing because I was going about it in a really hard way. So let me show you a faster way to do this. So I'm just going to draw a uh, square here. And I've got the stroke bumped up to 20 so that you can see it. And now notice here uh, that I have several different options. When I'm working with a line, of course, I have different ways to cap the end of a line. But then when I'm working with a polygon here, I do have quick ways to adjust the shape of the corners. So you can probably see that going on here. But also, importantly, for working with political boundaries, I can align the stroke differently to the actual boundary of the polygon. Because see, here at the moment, I have a 20-point stroke on this box here, and that means that 10 points are outside of the line uh, that Illustrator considers the, the boundary of the box, and then 10 points are inside of it. And then using the align stroke down here, I can either put that stroke entirely on the interior or entirely on the exterior of the box as Illustrator understands it. So in order to make the polygons for the countries like we were doing, it's probably best to just set the stroke alignment to the inside. So then uh, if this is the, uh, the red country, so it looks something like this, and then I can take another polygon and match it up to the boundary of the previous polygon, set its stroke also to the inside, and we'll make this the uh, maybe the blue country here. There we go, and there's no space in between those two polygons, and you still get the dark uh, outline of the interior just like we were doing. So that's the faster way to do it.